Welcome to the wonderful world of mouth sounds. Mouth sounds is a guide, a book and a record that will teach you how to dazzle your friends with dozens of vocal sound effects. This record will demonstrate each sound, and with the step-by-step -step instructions of the book, you'll be able to whistle pop Boeing and honk your way to social success. I'm your host, Frederick R. Newman, with the Mouth Sounds Orchestra, and we're delighted now to lead you on an excursion into the mouth. Follow along in the book as we demonstrate each vocal effect. We will begin with Chapter 2, Principles of Mouth Sounds. There are three basic vocal principles that will be referred to throughout the book and the record. The first is falsetto, a high-pitched, breathy voice. Listen as the voice glides upward from normal to falsetto. Ah, this is a falsetto voice. The second is the ploid principle. Breathing through your nose to close off the back of your mouth, thump the hollow of your cheek to produce a resonant ploid. The third principle is the palate grind, a gravelly grinding sound produced in the back of the mouth. Chapter 3, Pops, Clicks, Horns and Honks. The classic pop is the champagne pop. Perfect for festive occasions. Be sure to insert just the tip of your index finger. Add to the champagne pop a series of ploits by thumping on your cheek to get the filler up. With the tongue flop, you can be musical. For the slap pop, keep your lips loose and slightly puckered. There is nothing like ping pong pops to get the circulation going. The glottal fry sounds like this. Do the same thing, but inhale for an even louder glottal fry. With triple clicks, you can have anything from horse gallops to Fred Astaire. Then you have the basic honk and the goose honk with just the slightest touch of falsetto break. There's the ocean liner blast. And the tugboat. Poke out your bottom lip and blow out a low buzzing sound. Now add a strong low hum and change the pitch to produce the tugboat. Chapter 4, Animal Sounds. For many of the animal sounds that follow, you inhale rather than exhale to produce the sound. For instance, for the dog bark, instead of saying ruff by exhaling, you say ruff by inhaling. The puppy whine sounds like this. For the cow, inhale a low hum with your mouth closed. Then there's the cat. The pigeon coo begins with a simple falsetto, hoo, hoo, to which a tongue flutter is added. Keep the cheeks very loose for the chicken. For the turkey, first say, gala gala, in a falsetto, and then massage your Adam's apple with your finger as you say it. Gala 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 Pigs say, ooey, and you can do this by inhaling. To do a fly, stretch your lips together very tightly and blow out to make a high buzz. Cricket chirps sound like this. Inhale a low O sound for a frog. And then develop your inhaled croak. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The lion. And of course, the elephant trumpet. <laughs> Chapter 5, Whistles. On the basic pucker whistle, be sure to keep the small hole in your puckered lips very round. Then try adding vibrato. And tongue tippling. Of course, there's the invisible whistle and taxi whistles, the two-finger taxi whistle, and the fingerless whistle. 
Follow the steps for hand coups. As you practice, be sure to have an enclosed hollow space within the cup of your hands. Then try Indian hand coups. The double whistle is really two simultaneous whistles from the corners of your mouth. Whistles are difficult. They require more than the usual amount of practice, but soon you'll be rewarded with wonderful warbles. Chapter 6, Musical Instruments. Use your finest falsetto to produce the violin. Add the wavering of vibrato for good effect. Violin pizzicato or plucked violin sounds like this. The mandolin. The jazz bass. The classical guitar. The electric guitar is produced in much the same way as the violin. The trumpet has a slight touch of lip in each note. For the muted trumpet, use your hand to pinch off the nose and cover your mouth to act as a mute. The trombone. Allow your lips to puff out loosely for the French horn. For the saxophone, arch your tongue off the floor of your mouth, the clean sax. And the dirty sax. The drums are based on the pallet grind. The snare. The bass drum. The cymbal. The circus drum roll. And the brushes. Then you have the Hawaiian nose hum. And the country steel guitar. Chapter 7, Miscellaneous Mouth Sounds. First of all, sounds of transportation. To make the sound of a 62 Buick, first blow through your lips for a <laughs> then add a pallet grind. <laughs> for a sports car, blow through a tie pucker for a buzz. <laughs> then with that, trill your tongue. <laughs> Notice the sudden drop in pitch as the car passes. This is the Doppler effect. The helicopter. The submarine is a series of sounds. Underwater sonar. And the dive. Dive, dive, dive. Next we have household sounds. The kitchen water drip combines a slight whistle with a well-timed thump on the cheek. The blow dryer combines a fingerless taxi whistle with a strong low hum. For the telephone dial, follow a hissing sound with a series of clicks. The handsaw is a pallet grind with a falsetto voice added. And then we have space effects. The hum and whistle multi-purpose space effect is a whistle with a hum. 
the laser gun. And the intergalactic gizmo. Say a j sound and then hum. Chapter 8, Rude Noises. Rudeness is a state of mind. It's not so much what you do, but what you're thinking that makes something rude. The classic is the raspberry or Bronx cheer. <coughs> a more disgusting version of this is the fizzle raz. <coughs> a sort of sloppy raz out of the side of the mouth. With a volunteer, you can have the erotic raspberry. <coughs> the inhaled glottal fry forms the basis of the ersatz burp. <coughs> and stomach growls. <coughs> you have the, excuse me, <coughs> artificial nose blow, and of course, labored breathing. Hello? <laughs> for the splat, first blow out through your puckered lips for a buzzing sound, and then push your tongue forward through your buzzing lips. <laughs> Cheek music. And the bubble effect. You have the boing, 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 and the smock. Of course, the mud trudge, or the sound of dog food glopping out of the can, is one of the most revolting sounds. <laughs> this record will give you a few examples of the vocal acrobatics possible with the mouth. Practice and invent your own sounds. This is Frederick R. Newman and the Mouth Sounds Orchestra saying so long and keep sounding off.